Welcome, welcome, welcome to my art channel. My name is Runa Smith and I am a Scottish painter and illustrator. Today I will show you how to paint a jellyfish in Photoshop. Let's get started. Let's go to the bottom right corner, click on create new layer, wanna click, double click on your layer and let's rename it color. Again, create a new layer, double click and let's rename it sketch. And again, create a new layer, let's name it body. Go to the left side of the screen and click on Eclipse tool. Click on your canvas and drag. Go to the right side to our body layer, right click. Click on blending option. Go to the stroke, tick, double click on the stroke. Here we can adjust the size and the color of our stroke. Let's choose a purplish one. Fantastic! Now click Ctrl T and let's move our eclipse around. Enter where we happy with the position of the eclipse. Go to the left side of the screen, choose the color picker. Choose any color you like, it doesn't matter at this moment. To our paint bucket, Go to a magic wand, fourth tool from the top, click on our eclipse, then go to a magic eraser tool, click on our eclipse, Ctrl D, Ctrl T, and we can move our eclipse around. Let's move to the left top corner. Right click and let's find wrap. Now we can make our eclipse look more like a jellyfish. A little bit bigger on the bottom and a little bit flatter on the top. Play around with our shape until we have a jelly bean shape. Then click Enter and Ctrl T to move. Let's move to the sketch layer on the right side and on the left side let's go to our brush tool. Let's choose our fourth dot and the size. Let's make sure that opacity is on 100%. And let's choose the color of our brush by using eyedropper. Go to our canvas and click on our purple color. Ctrl plus to make the canvas bigger so we can select the color better. Ctrl plus to make the canvas even bigger to make the bottom more jellyfish-like. Let's go to our eraser tool on the left side. And let's go to our body layer to remove all the unnecessary lines.
Now we can go to our brush tool again to smooth our lines a little bit. Let's make our canvas a little bit bigger and let's go over our lines again to make it them a little bit smoother and thicker. Let's go to the other side of our jellyfish, go to eraser tool and smooth our lines. You can go back to a brush tool and smooth the lines if you need it. Go to our body layer and paint bucket and click on our body line to make the body purple. Fantastic! Ctrl minus to make the jellyfish smaller so we can see what we created. Go to our brush tool. Let's adjust our size of the brush and let's change our brush shape. Go to our color picker and let's choose a purple color. Let's start painting. Ctrl C if you want to remove our last movement. Let's change our brush to another one. Fantastic! It looks way better. Now let's go to our razor tool and Ctrl plus to remove all the unnecessary lines. Ctrl minus to see our jellyfish better. Let's change our color to the light blue one. Click OK. Go to a brush. Let's change our size to a smaller one. And start to draw the blue tentacles. Fantastic! Let's go again to a color picker. Let's choose a light pink color. Let's change our opacity to a smaller one so we can see all the lines below it. Fantastic! Let's go to our color picker and let's change the color again for a light blue one. Nice smooth wiggly lines here and there. Great! Let's go to our eraser tool on the left side, Ctrl plus to make our canvas a little bit bigger and let's remove all the unnecessary lines. It is so relaxing to see the process how to create a digital art. Ctrl minus to make our artwork smaller so we can see what we created. Now the fun part. Let's go to our color layer on the right side and paint packet on the left side. Go to our color picker. Choose a pink color. 
maybe a little bit lighter pink color. Press OK. Go to our paint packet and let's make sure that all layers are selected. Go to our magic wound, click on our jellyfish body, jellyfish body, go to our brush tool. And let's change our brush to a fifth dot, change the size to a bigger one. Let's change also opacity to a smaller one. Let's go to color picker and let's make the pink just a little bit different. Let's go to a color picker, choose a purple. And let's start to add some pastel colors to our jellyfish. A little bit on the right side and on the bottom. On the left side. here in the middle. Let's go to our color picker and let's change the color like pink reddish. And let's add some tones on the left side and the bottom. Great. Let's do the same with a more bluish color. Let's go to the top of jellyfish. Again, let's go to the color picker. Let's choose the darker blue color. And let's go to the edges of the light blue color. And again, go to the color picker. Let's choose the white color. Let's do details of the jellyfish. Go to our brush to change the size and change the dot to the fourth dot. Change the opacity to 100%. Go to our sketch layer. Ctrl plus to make the canvas bigger. And let's start to draw. Ctrl Z if you make a mistake. Let's make the size a little bit different to make our line more visible. Fantastic. Now let's make a wavy shape on the top of the jellyfish. Go to the color picker and choose a slightly pink color and let's change the size of the brush and the opacity again to make some reflection on a jellyfish. First, I put the lines when I want the reflection to be. Then I will change the size to a bigger one to make reflection smoother and bigger, more visible. And I will change the opacity to a smaller one. It's looking more alive.
fantastic. Control minus to see our creation. Let's go back to a sketch layer. Let's choose lock transparent pixels. Change our opacity to a smaller one. And let's adjust the color a little bit. Let's add some colors to our wavy lines, which are coming out from jellyfish. Let's go to our color picker to change our color to more pinkish shade. And let's do it all over again. There is no particular pattern here. You just add splashes of colors here and there. Let's change the color to more white one. Let's change the color to lighter one. And let's adjust the size of the brush to a smaller one. Here and there, just the final touches. I want to make the ends just a little bit more transparent. Fantastic! Let's go back to the color picker. Choose the pinkish color. And let's add just a little bit more of shading. minus the jellyfish is almost ready let's create one more layer and let's call it sparkles let's go to the left side to a color picker choose almost white color go to our size of the brush let's choose the fifth dot the blurry one Choose the size and change the opacity. Let's create a dot sparkles on our jellyfish. Let's change the shape to a star. Some more sparkles to bring jellyfish to life. Go to our background layer, double click on it to unlock it. Go to our color picker, choose a black color. Go to our pink bucket, make sure that all layers are antique. You can click on our last layer to change the background to black. Please like, share, subscribe and I will see you on my next tutorial. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.